Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada highlight element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. The highlight element is one of the inline elements provided with Avada. These elements can only be used in conjunction with other text-based elements. For more info on inline elements, please see the links below the video. If I go to add the element to the page, we can see it's greyed out, and I get the message that it's an inline element for usage in the Avada Builder Generator when I mouse over it. So the highlight element is accessed through the Avada Builder Generator, or the inline editor with text-based elements like the title and text block element. Let's take a look at how this can be used. I've imported the Avada Wedding Pre-Build here, and I will scroll down to the start of the page content. Anywhere I can make a direct text selection, like on a title or text block element, the inline editor appears. I'll just select the location for the wedding here, and the inline editor pops up. At the far right is the plus button, where inline elements are added. I will just select the highlight element here. This opens the highlight element options. The first one is called background, with a simple yes or no option. If you choose to have a background, the next option is background style. This is either full, as we can see here, or marker style, which just highlights the bottom half of the text. I think I will leave it on full. The next option, background color, controls the highlight color. By default, it uses the primary color of the site. Here, I'll just select color 5 again, but I think I will add minus 15 into the luminance field to make the color darker. The next option gives me a choice as to whether I want rounded corners on the highlight, and I think I will set this to yes. There is also an option for the font color, so you can have full control over the colors and contrast. But if I go back and turn the background to off, another option appears under this called Gradient Font Color. If I enable that option, I get six new options with which to control the gradient. If I set the Start Color to Color 6, and the End Color to Color 3, and set the Start Position to somewhere around 20, and the End Position somewhere around 70, you can get an idea of what you can do with this. But I don't think the site style or colors here are suitable for a font gradient, so I will just set the background back to yes, and all those options go away. For my example here, I might just go back to the font color and set that to color 1. There is also the option of having a text stroke, and if you enable this, two more options appear with which to control the stroke. You can choose both the size and the color of the stroke. If I leave the stroke size on 1, and set the stroke color to color 8, you can see the effect. But this effect only really works well on large font sizes, so I will turn the stroke off again. Depending on your site style and content, there are a lot of ways to use these last two features. Both font gradients and text strokes, however, look great on larger fonts, so you might want to add a larger title with a text stroke effect like this, or even a title with a font gradient like this. In my case, this design is a little too refined for that, so I'll stick with my current example. Ok, the next option down is the content field, which is just the text that was selected, but you could add to it or change it here if you wished. Plus, of course, there are the usual CSS options. If you want to edit your work, you can always right-click on the highlighted text, and here you have two choices. To reset to default, which just removes the element and sets the text back as it was, or edit, which of course opens the options where you can edit the highlight again. For elements that have a text component where you can't access it directly on screen, such as the testimonial element further down the page here, you can also access the highlight element, just this time from the Avada Builder Element Generator. If I edit a testimonial, and then select some text in the testimonial content, we can see the Avada Builder Element Generator here in the editor, and clicking on this, I can again select highlight. This time the element opens in a modal and the changes are made first when I click Insert. So I will just quickly configure the options here, and click Insert, and then we can see the shortcode in the editor, and the highlight on the page. If you don't like what you've done, simply use the history states to step back one step and you can apply it again. Ok, that's the highlight element. It's a simple yet effective element to highlight parts of your content. Ok, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos, and if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Nevada.